Ray from Philly here on Sunday night, March the 3rd. I have a card for my 300 great baseball cards of the 20th century by Mike Payne, PSA set registry, that I picked up over this weekend at the Philly show. Uh, got a chance to hang out with YouTuber uh, Ed Wesker Griff on Saturday. The show ran for uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I went Friday night and Saturday. I didn't go today because it was just too many days. So hung out Friday night, walked around, great show. Went there yesterday, it was the most packed I've ever seen that show. About 200 tables there, it's a great show. It's the oldest show in the country, it was established I think in 1975. So great show. And um, so I picked up my 168th card of the set for the 300 great baseball card set. And uh, it's a 1961 Topps Roger Maris in a PSA 6. And I love this card. The card is centered really well. I've been eyeing this card for since I started this set. And I just haven't been able to find one centered. Uh, I wanted to get this in a 5. Because uh, the 6 was too much money. But I got a great deal at the show. You know when they say it's always good to get a card at a show rather than online. Because you can negotiate in person. Especially if you have cash on you. So that definitely helped. Uh, a five was going for roughly $60, $70. And the gentleman had this six for about 110 And I got him below 100 And it wasn't much more than a five. And this card's really centered. So uh, let's give the, a closer look on this card. And it's my 168th card. So hold on. Okay. This was the year Roger Maris broke Babe Ruth's record. This is the reason why they selected this card for the set. As you can see, the centering is extraordinarily well. The centering is pretty much 50-50 all the way around. And 61 tops is my favorite set of the 60s. A lot of people like the 60 tops, and I understand why the 60 tops is a classic set. But I just there's something about the 61 that I really like. Basic white borders. And the name of the team on the bottom. Just a, a great standard baseball card. So this is a, it's a great looking card. I'm glad to add this to the 300 set. And let's move on over here to the book. It's been a while since I did a video for this set. And let's see how I've done on these two pages. I think I am completed with both of these pages so that's pretty cool and here it is the 1961 tops roger maris card number two uh, while maris and mickey mantle chased the legend of babe ruth in the summer 61 baseball card collectors chased this card out of series one packs by the final game of the season when maris sent tracy stallard's pitch over the right field fence for home run number 61 this was the card everyone wanted to trade for so yeah this was a a classic card to get that year. A classic year, one of the great baseball seasons of all time. The M&M &M boys, these guys were chasing Ruth head to head that entire season. Just a great season. My favorite movie of all time is 61, baseball movie that is of all time, this is the movie 61, based on this classic season. I have to put a perfect fit sleeve on this bad boy, register this. Thanks for watching, guys. Just wanted to show you. This is my uh, 168th card of this set. I started off the year at 165, so this is only my third card of the year. The cards are getting much more expensive now. Uh, my goal is to try and finish. And I started at 165. Try and finish around 175, maybe one, maybe 180 by the end of this year. We'll see. But just wanted to show you guys my newest pickup I got from the Philly show. 61 Tops Roger Maris. And a PSA 6, great looking card. Love it. All right, guys, thanks, Scott. Well, thanks a lot. Appreciate all your likes and comments. Uh, go Phillies. We picked up Bryce Harper. Really stoked for this upcoming year. Take it easy, guys. Keep on collecting. And remember what I always say. Have fun with it. See you soon.